Hello and welcome to another RP tutorial video. Today I am going to talk about Metabot creation method. So here I will show you how you can create a simple Metabot using DLL file. So basically in this demonstration I am going to create a SAP Metabot. So I have received the Metabot from the automation anywhere which is specially for the SAP automation. So I am going to show you step by step how you can build a logic as per your requirement. Before starting the video uh, let me uh, tell you something like those who are very new to this channel and interested to learning RPA I would request you to kindly uh, refer to my previous videos or you can uh, refer to this videos description sections from there you can get the previous video link so that those videos will be helpful in case if you are interested or you want to start your career as an RPA developer all right okay another thing is like uh, we are providing you know rpa project development project supports and training based on automation anywhere ui path and the blue piece in case if you are having a such type of requirement so you can go ahead and contact us via the mentioned mail id which is rpa.developers1 at gmail.com all right so now let me go to the automation anywhere and start the discussion before going to the automation anywhere let me show you this sap gui script file okay so this sap gui script file we have received from the automation anywhere so in case if you are looking for this sap gui file you can go ahead and get it from the automation anywhere or you can post in a comment section so i can go ahead and share the download link for this sap gui file so this sap script or gui file is basically or the specially for the sap automations okay so now i will show you step by step how can you use this sap script gui dll file and how can how how can you can create a different logics which you can use in a sap okay so let's start so i'm going to the automation anywhere here first i'll go to the metabot section okay another thing is i have already created a couple of videos based on the metabot so there i have explained about like what is uh, logic what is asset and metabot designer etc etc so in case if you want to know more about metabot i would request you to kindly refer to those videos to get more information okay now what i have to do i have to click on the next the new metabot once you click on new metabot it will open this window and here you have to fill some details so let's put some name for the metabot so here i'm putting sp automation metabot okay so it will save by default in my metabot folder in case if you want to change you can go ahead and change from here so i will select the application specific because we are going to create a metabot for the sap so i'll click on create so once you click on create it will take you into the metabot designer page okay so this is my metabot designer page now i have to click on the asset part so from here we have to import that dll okay so first you have to import the dll then you have to build the logic so i will show you step by step these details also so let me go to the folder i'm copying this dll file and i'm clicking on the add dll and here i will do the paste okay so once you click automatically it will add the dll file here okay now i'll go to the logic section okay so here you can see we don't have any logics available however you can see here options like add logic record logic okay so i'm going to use the add logic okay before moving into the add logic or create logic part so let me show you the sap so let me log into the sap okay so sap is you know basically working in case if you are using the metabot you have to use the sap gui recording okay if you don't have the gui recording enabled then you have to enable it okay so I, i'll show you step by step so my sap is on now so let me create some logic so what i will do i will click on the add logic so it will open a window like this so this is the dll file so this is nothing but your sap gui script wrapper file so within this wrapper file we have this many informations available okay so now based on your requirement you can go ahead and select the logic and you can create your logic okay so for our scenario 
to work with SAP, you have to create first logic as login with existing session. Okay, so I will search for that option. So here you can see the option is login with existing session. Once you click there, it will open a box like this. So there you, you have to pass the value, right? So login with existing session is nothing but a, a logic which will help you to create a connections with SAP with automation anyway. Okay. So, okay. So here I have to pass the value. So what I will do, I will go to the variable manager. There my variable type would be value. And here I will put a name as let's say V session ID. Okay, and here I will select the type as input because we are writing something, we are passing value to the metabot. And here I will put the value as zero. Then I will click on save and the same variable here I will select and pass. So okay, now you have to click on add. So once you click on the add here, you have to click on the save. So once you click on the save, it will ask you for the log logic name. So I put a logic name as login with existing session and I will click on the save. Okay, so now let me close this and I will take you into the Metabot designer page. So here we can see one logic got created. So here I will show you one by one logic. Okay, so my requirement is I have to log into the SAP. Okay, so to log into SAP, you have to write down the username, password, then you have to press the enter. Okay, so we have to create a logic first login with the existing session. Then I have to create a logic for search by object ID. After that, I have to write the text, right? So I have to create a logic for set text. Then I have to click enter. So I have to click a logic for press enter. Okay. So let me go back to automation anywhere designer page of the metamod. I will click on add logic. Okay. So this time I will click on the search object by ID. So I will explain you why I'm creating this logic once we'll move to the SAP part. So I have to look for the options, string search object. Okay, string search object by ID. Okay, so this is the uh, logic which I'm looking for. So here I will go ahead and then create a variable. Okay, so here I will put a variable like search by object ID and I will put the parameter as input and I will not put anything here. I will keep as a null. The same thing I will pass here. Okay, and I will click on the save. Okay, so again, if I click on the save here, it will ask for the logic name. So I'm putting logic name as So I have created the second logic, which is here. Now I will create the another logic. Okay. So I will look for the set text. Okay. So I have to look for the options. It should start with the Boolean execute set text. Okay. So this is the option. So here I will again I will go and create a variable. So the logic name you can put as per your understanding or as per your uh, naming convention. Okay, so let me close this. This is also done. Now I have to create another logic. So which will be, let's say, okay, let me show you one a logic where we can use the output as a parameter. So let's say in case you want to get some value from the SAP. So you have to use uh, string execute gate text. So I have to look for the string execute
this is the option okay so here i will create a variable called get text and here i will select the parameter type as a output because we are reading something and passing from the meta bot to the task bot and the same thing i will assign into the variable here i will select the same variable here let's say i'm selecting okay it should come that variable also so okay we got that variable so let me click then i will save this logic also sorry it should be get text this is also done so now i'm going to create a final variable final logic which is execute enter okay so we need to press the enter after writing the username and the password so okay this is my execute enter key so here no need to uh, create any variable because we are not passing any value we will just click on the add and here i have to click on save logic all right this is also done so now let me go to the automation anywhere metabot designer so we can see here we have created the logic for execute enter get text set text login with existing session and search by object id okay so now i'm closing this metabot designer and if you go to metabot section you can see here that metabot which we have created just now is showing here okay these are the logic which we have created just now so now we are going to use this logic okay now go to the sap so before automating sap you have to keep something in mind like you have to see whether your gui script recording is enabled or not so in my scenario this is not enabled currently right it is going as a disable so you can go ahead and enable it by using a, a transaction code called uh, xk03 or something so okay, let me look for the transaction code So this transaction code is RZ11. And here I have to part, pass this value and I have to click on the display. So here basically I'm giving access to a GUI recording. Okay. Okay, I have to close this. And here I have to click on the change value and here I have to write true. Okay. And I will click on the save. so now if i check it is not saying enable so what do you have to do you have to log off from the sap and again logged into the sap okay here we go so here we got the access to sap recording now i'm going to record a script which will help you in automating or using the meta bot okay so i'm again uh, closing the sap because we want to automate a part which we are logging right login part i want to use the meta bot so i will click here and i will click on the sap recording and here i will click on the start so I will put down a username here, RP, and my password. Okay, so that's all. After that, I will stop the recording. Now I will go to the recording. So this is my recording, and I will open it. 
I just wanted to take uh, uh, some details from here. That is like your object ID for username and the password field. So this is the object ID for the username, and this is for the password. By seeing these details, also you can understand this is my username and this is my password. Okay. Now I'll go to the automation anyway, okay. and I will use the meta board. So first I will drag and drop the automation anywhere meta board, and I will use this login with existing session. Okay. And after that, I will use a logic for search object by ID. Okay. And here I will put the object ID. So first I want to put the username. So I will use this object ID. I will go there and I will put here. Okay. The next is after writing the object ID, I have to put the username here. Okay. So I will use a set text, okay, and here I will put a username as RPA. Okay. This is done now. Next, I have to use the search by object ID for the password field. I will copy this. And I will go to the search by object ID and I will put this. So next I will use a search search by ID is done. Now I have to set text, right? So I will put here, I will put the password here. Okay, I'm given the password. Now after writing the username and password, I have to click on the enter. So I will use the execute enter. Okay, and I will click on the same. Now I will save the task. Okay, let me close this recording. I'm closing this SAP also. Now I'm running from the starting. So let me open the SAP page. Okay, so now let me run this task and we'll see whether bot is able to log into SAP or not. Let me go to the SAP. Okay, we can see bot is able to log into SAP. This message is coming because another person is using the SAP. So, so this this is running fine. So, in case if you want to add any other logic, you can go ahead and add the logic the way I have shown you. So, this is very easy and simple way of creating the MetaBot logic. I hope you find this video helpful and able to understand how to create a MetaBot logic. So similarly, in case if you have any other DLL file, so there if you want to create a logic, you can go ahead and follow the same method which I have currently shown. Okay. So in case you have any suggestion or any comment related to this video and or any feedback, I would be happy to uh, read your comments and feedback. So I just uh, requesting you to kindly subscribe this channel in case if you want to get more RP related videos. So that's all from my end. Thank you so much. In case if you are looking for a DLL file or this Metabot logic bot, go ahead and post in a comment or mail me at rpa.developers1 at gmail.com. I would be happy to share uh, that code as well as the DLL file. So thank you guys.